And we're back. Hello. I'm let's get right back into it, man. I got I got the energy. I got the curiosity. It is late. It is 1 a.m. I probably shouldn't shouldn't say that, but whatever. It's 1 a.m., man. And I'm super excited to continue. But this will probably have to be my last uh, one for today. So let's make it good. I think what we're going to do, we have the plan. We are going to go to the Hidden Gorge. No, no, well, not, yes, we're going to go to the Hidden Gorge. But we're going to go to the first tower. We're going to unlock that path. We're going to go to the Hidden Gorge right after that. Rush over there and sneak around. I think we need to figure out what they're hiding. I feel like they're hiding something. And it feels like it with the whole lock situation. Like, we need to unlock the the coffin. Um, so... Oh, come on, come on. Pile in one sec. There we go. Now that I know which one the roll is, this is easy. Easy, I tell you. Um... Let, okay. Brain's working. Brain's are working. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we're gonna get this. We're gonna go unlock the path. We're gonna go to the Hidden Gorge. We're going to immediately go straight to that path. Um. Come on. Look at that. I jumped and then I did jet. Some conserving. Heck yeah. I can learn. Uh, it's the right one. Put this down. I don't know if there's anything else to say, really. <laughs> I think that the plan's gonna uh, uh, change depending on what we find, I think. <laughs> find out what they're hiding. But I, I think I almost need to, like, speed run the unlocking of this left path. Because it really just feels like no time. Like, I, I, I guess I'm walking, but... Okay, there's the thing. I need to extinguish it. Which is the first use of us extinguishing a thing to make something disappear. You know, I just realized... Literally, they conjured chains let's just go into the water we'll wake up um they conjured chains i thought some of the flames were out there for a second they uh they uh they conjured fl uh, like chains to block this thing in an imaginary world so they literally could make things actually like really interesting to think about um no okay come on come on come on now let's go um so hidden gorge hidden gorgeous um yeah let's just get there in one piece oh, shit. <laughs> oh god uh, all right that was uh smooth <laughs> that was super smooth uh all right i need to stop saying us i think i just saw um brittle hollow over there i saw some flames in the sky hollows in it lantern i think the uh, movie screen of the universe over there. All right, we're good. Now we need to open up this path to um 
get to the path we just opened in the other place. And we have to go two rafts over, not to the anchor. Um, and then we're good. I wonder if we can translate that at some point. I, I guess not, because literally Hal, which I believe is the character's name, made the translator tool for the Nomai only, and there's like no way he would be able to like decode their language ever. And there doesn't seem to be much actually written language by these people anyway. So it probably doesn't really matter. We could probably like assume that that's probably just the name of the place or something. All right. Dude. I actually really didn't like how they conceal themselves to find me and they just like appear out of nowhere trying to spot me. That's actually like really freaky. They're also really big. You little you literally picked me up with one arm. I think we always, we kind of had the tint hints of how big they were with like the doors and everything in the very first episode, but still kind of creepy to see literally. Wait a minute. How did I never look right? Oh, it's a baby owl. Oh, that's adorable. Oh. <laughs> I should really take in these uh these frames like they're super creepy don't get me wrong these frame like the pictures some of them at least but they're very like whoa they're actually like very like cool and sweet too like check this out they're playing instruments there's another family. It's actually like really sweet. And this would be like untarnished paintings compared to the ones like in the real world. Because they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't age obviously in here. Like everything here is immortal in, in a way. I wonder if like the stuff they, gotta go around, the stuff they, made in this like world does it come from just like what they remember like how what what's making it i'm i'm there's still a lot of questions is the flame that we have like literally in our hand there is that being powered by the eye of the universe like because it kind of felt like the light that shined and you know brought them to the solar system I, I don't know if it was something they already had or it was something they discovered when they got the signal from the eye that's probably not right mostly because that the eye doesn't really have any significance with a flame if i remember right there's not the only thing that really connects to the eye of the universe is like quantum mechanics so they probably had this flame situation these this sorcery stuff beforehand see why you have to speed these boats up we really have to go fast it's such a huge area like just to do all this uh, I think the dam already broke no we haven't heard screech the dam's probably gonna break soon very least I should have looked at that literally it's the it's the vault <laughs> unless 
You know, I think those lights were out. Do the lights go out when... Uh... This is going to be interesting to see. I wonder what changes in the zone when it gets flooded. Like, when you don't wake up yourself. Like, what literally happens? Very interested. I'm very interested. Okay, let's not fall in the water while we're this far out. Or we'd have to run back quite a lot. Okay, now we gotta go right. This is actually pretty hard to navigate with the darkness. have to do we open this we haven't opened the bridge over here yet so we need to go under first we're kind of following our raft over it's kind of cool uh we need to go right and then in here yep and then look through this thing and then jump down to the small one Okay. Didn't take damage. Which I guess we can take damage. Music's still going. I wish we could go over there and, and listen. I wonder if we need to get over there and listen before they disappear. Really, they're not disappearing, they're dying, isn't it? Let's, let's go this way again. We need to explore that other direction, but... Actually, no. Let's... Let's explore this real quick. Because there's so many of those guys over there, I, I feel like I might just get caught. So there might be something over here that won't be as dangerous. Oh. Wait. You could just teleport over here. Okay. Wait. Is that what this whole place is right here? Just literally you can... Why would you open the bridge then? I guess that's maybe just a shortcut you wouldn't know until you... There's the water. They're gonna go to. They're gonna. Let's see what happens. Let's get close. Holy crap! Holy crap! Okay, they literally just like screech and then disappear in green glow. Terrifying. Now that doesn't mean everyone's gone. I should keep that in mind. I should also find There's the water. And the water goes fast, doesn't it? Um There wait, where where did that guy go underground? Maybe we should have followed one. When we had time with him. There's literally a hole here somewhere. Is it over here? I want to see where that went. No. Oh dang man, I'm lost. Here it is, okay. So they should be gone, but there could be another village over here. This is terrifying. Music stopped. Still could be one over here. Oh, this is 
It's sad. Someone was playing music in here, man. Okay. What is to be found here? Do I actually need to come here before they get woken? I was thinking this would be a good idea to come over before they or after they died. But maybe I need to be here before they died. What is significant about this area? Big fire. Teacups. Grass growing in for some reason. I don't know. I'm not sure what. I feel like there was more to be found here. Do we have to meet? like a correct owl or something or do we need to go and listen there's another bridge that they were walking from let's go check that one out actually like man I feel bad that they're dying. Like, actually. Even though they're creepy and have giant mouths. Where am I going? There's, there's definitely a bridge or something they were walking across, right? But I remember that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like they, they have a reason for what they're doing and they're not needlessly violent or I feel like they would have like done something more aggressive when they caught me and they have families and stuff like, yeah, they made a mistake and destroyed their like home world, but at least I assume that's the reasoning. I mean, it, it, it feel like it's pretty clear with like the reels that they destroyed it. I don't know if like the game's gonna blatantly tell me at some point. This is just a home. It's it's actually really sad that uh. It's like really sad that this is like their last like this is the last of their species like even the nomai um have like there's there's living nomai in the universe well, the universe is dying right now and like they're on their last refuge but like they can't have a family like they're they're stuck with what they have like all the, the people connected mentally which is what like 30 of them I, i've actually never counted how many are sleeping in these pods i should check that next time we're awake so i don't think i don't think there's anything here which is really strange to me, because I feel like there should be something here. But perhaps it requires me to be here. While they're alive. Oh, look at that. I thought I was going on a bridge I already have been on. Also, kind of terrifying if you think in their position. If they fell into the water here in the the 
dream flame went out, they would literally literally wake up and die. Like, so they could never... Maybe they could touch the water, but they could never... Like... Let their flame, like, go out at all. I don't know, that just seems real spooky. Their whole, like, existence requires them to... Like, not... To be so careful. I, I feel like there was something to be found in that house. Dang it, man. Okay. What are we looking for? We're looking for the thing that gets rid of the chains on the vault. So there is a hidden, a hidden thing, I would assume, in this area for the first chain. That That's just kind of me thinking along the lines of how it's gamified, I'd say and what they're hiding and there's three chains which correlate to the three sleeping areas i assume there's a tree a swamp tree that all right the sun's about to explode um there's a swamp tree that is right below the giant Saturn looking planet or gas giant. It kind of looked like a gas giant. So. Wait, did we go? No, okay. We did go this way. I thought that was a different dock. Um. This is like really sadly empty. I'm like actually, actually, I know I've already said, but I'm actually pretty sad about this. Feels bad. What could be hidden here? Was it to do with the music? Do I have to be here with the music? seeing anything, man. Is there, is there, like, a teleport thing? No? Well, we're about to go through our loop. And I tell you what, I feel like I want to do another one and just get over here real quick. Maybe we can manage that. Well, oh, that was a look over there into the great water. I wonder if I could time this and like fall in while I'm while everything's about to change. Like right now. Oh no. It's like glitch out the brain thing and then you don't get looped back. You know, as a as another thought with the whole looping mechanic. Um, literally when you don't die and it just loops over, isn't that like the, the equivalent of like, okay, yeah, your memories are being sent back in time, but isn't there another existence of yourself that who didn't die, who is now living on that ship <gasps> moving forward? I'm not, I don't know if I'm ending this. We're going to go straight into it. <laughs> Make it a double episode. Let's do it. Screw it, man. Nothing changed on there. Let's, let's get over there. I'm too interested. I can't even sleep unless I was tired. <laughs> So let's go use our energy up. 
Um, so yeah, we're going to go back. Man, I feel like I'm just going to the same thing. But we haven't tried it when they're alive. So we're going to try sneaking behind them like we were. And hopefully they won't turn around and catch us. So this will be a, a bit more... Um, uh, a bit more scary, I'd say. You know, it's interesting. Um, a lot of the mechanics of like the base game don't really translate in here. Like they even take away your suit in kind of like half this area now that we know. Um, and you have to use like that new mechanic of hiding and, and concealing and no feeling, let it go. Yeah, it's interesting that it's like it's totally different. Like, it's not that one. It's this one. I'm silly. Um, it's interesting how different. Like, they they really added like a whole new mechanic. And this whole huge area. So it's like interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thirty-three minus one who died. We don't have to do that. Minus one that died during the testing, which I assume is that missing seat. So there's literally only 32 of these existing. It's crazy. So we learned last time that there's a staircase over here. We can teleport. So let's use that to our advantage. Also, before that, let's Let's extinguish this, just in case we need to come over here. I feel like there's a reason to come over here um, after the flooding, which is strange, but feels important. Okay, so now we're teleporting and then we're going to hide behind some of these owls. Here we go. Wait, where are we? There we go. Now, play the spy music. He's gonna go. Oh, I just saw a silhouette. Man, they are they are scary. Okay, he's gonna walk down here. Don't turn around though. Are you gonna turn around? Man, they're they almost are human when you look at the silhouette only and you don't think about their feathers. When they're like very lank like they're slender men human shapes. Is he, he's going to turn around, isn't he? Let's keep some distance. It's a catchy tune. See what he does. So 
out. It locked. Oh, shit. Hello. I thought they were gonna... So they all just stared at me. They stopped playing their music. Surrounded by them. I mean, that's not gonna stop me very long. <laughs> I feel like I'm just an annoyance to them now because I can just keep going back. It's like, yeah, you can blow up my, my plane, but that's not going to deter me. Seal don't feel. Here it is. <laughs> I found it. Oh, someone's already walking up. So do they just all walk up like this over and over again, like repeating? You thought you got rid of me. Nope. I'm here for you to play music for me. Don't you want to know what's happening into the solar system right now? Just like looking down. Can we just hang out? Uh, yeah. Or no. Hey, listen, dude. That's really cool of you and everything, but uh, I got. Okay, okay. You, you got me. I don't. Man, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I, well, obviously there's other things we can explore. We can we can go to the other spots and see what they hide. But I feel like okay, that thing was literally about to blow. I and before it blows, I kind of want to check something. I want to at least get this piece of information. Because isn't there a a reel in here um, that has the first chain? Yes. Okay. Get rid of that. Um, go get on a raft. Have we ever been on a raft when the thing blows? I don't think we have. Let's see what happens. Like, they're, they're really not too scary. I mean, they're freaky. But there's a lot of logical reasons why it seems like their motivations are what they are. Um, does this place this place doesn't get filleted. Um, where the real watching thing is. So let's let's go here. Gonna 
break. Damn gonna break. lantern before they get blown out. I feel like we're forgetting something. Like, we need to unlock these chains. But, you know, I really don't know what's driving us for besides figuring out more about these guys. Like, it would be nice to know how to control the ship because then we maybe could like save our like literal species like like that's still kind of in my head he's walking up well, look at that that looks like it's outside there seems to be water and then there's like a big There's a big plot of land with some grass and then there's a river across it. So th that looks like the area, area, <laughs> area that we were in. The cave one we saw is in here, but in the 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 dream world. Just kind of think about the existence of these guys and like how, oops, they. Like, we, we can hear, like, things going on in the real world because we have a body that's literally still working. But they, they must not be able to hear anything, right? Like, they're... Oh. Um. They don't really have that. Like, their bodies are dead. Hmm. Trying to decide what our next move is right now. I feel like we need a lantern. Oh gosh. <laughs> that hit pretty hard. Um the only place I could think about getting lanterns is a hidden gorge. Um when I say lantern I mean the artifact that focuses because I dropped it. it. I mean it looked like the 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 hint for the the first chain is in that area we were in so it, maybe i was literally just missing it because i mean it's so dark there it would not surprise me two mo two moment momentum two mo momentum gonna get woken up here we did open up that spot to look around um i feel like i should go back to that spot specifically even though i know we've been there a few times i just feel like let's let's take one area at a time 
we have no more fuel. <laughs> oh no. Well, no. How are we going to get back over? Is there any fuel? I, I don't think there's any fuel here. There, there might be in the church because they burned the last church. Maybe they left some here. See if I can remember how to navigate this. Oh yeah, didn't even need it. Did you leave any fuel stuff here, guys? Just need some rocket propellant real quick. And then there's also this. Okay, got alt tabbed again. That's cool. Um. What are the choices we have here? We have, uh, we have the ring planet, ring gas giant. We have the sun. We have a star. We have like a weird oval with a little line in it and a prefacy bracket thing, a flame. We have a moon cycle. And there's, there's five of them to choose from. Where do we find that stuff? Like, that's that's totally still a mystery. I didn't find any rocket propellant there. I really doubt we can make this jump without rocket propellant. <laughs> big oopsie man like how far let's just test how far we can jump no way uh we can maybe see if the elevator will somehow give us a bridge over <laughs> if we can get to the elevator we're good we just just need to get to the elevator. Alright, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, here's the hard part. Oh, yeah, baby. We did it. Such a cool place. Like, yeah, their planet seems cool and all, but they literally made a ma an amazing ship. Like, I don't know what what costs, obviously. But look at this. There's a ring planet with a river. Like, come on, man. It's not so bad of a life. It, well, maybe it was with what they went through. I don't know. It's still kind of crazy for me to think, like, in the story's concept, like, this was here before, um, when the Nomai was here and everything. Like, that's crazy. We have to unlock all this, don't we? Man, um... Kind of unfortunate. Don't want to like repeat everything and not really get anywhere, but I don't know. Because like right now, I'm wondering about how much time we have left right now. Even with me like going pretty fast through this, I would say, besides like us running out of rocket propellant and having to take a long way around.
You still there, buddy? Yeah, you still there. There it is. That's the end. Why are they not freaking out? Like, they had to hear that, right? They seem to be pretty, like, cognitive. Like, I don't know. The, the ones here seem a little out of it in some ways. Because, like, he's just literally watching a reel for 22 minutes. <laughs> the other ones are at least, like, walking from their village to a place to, like, make music and, like, be very commutative. It's hard to judge, I guess, these guys on just a 22 minute interval. But, uh. Did I. Did I ever go all the way up? Like, we don't have much time. I can't get to the other one. Let's just look here. Is there any, like, teleports? I remember going up here when I was terrified out of my mind, so I don't remember exactly if there was something to be learned. The door. Seems to go higher up. Another door. Oh. Oh, yeah, we've been here. They were playing music. Well, no, they weren't playing music, but uh, this is where that was. Why is this here? Oh, look at that. There's a cavern. Whoa. Look at that. It's right above. Could we fall to that? Something to try next time. Well. We learned a lot about the owls this session. We... They seem pretty against having any communication with me. Although not hostile, so they seem to be pretty sane. Um, they still play music and seem to hang out with each other. So I assume... Assume one thing. I, okay, just... We'll look at the sky, rotate around as I talk here for a minute. Um, the owls are still protecting... The knowledge of that they're still protecting the knowledge of maybe where the eye is well well we know where the eye is kind of of course we can't get to the eye without sacrificing our loop but does that matter would that mean anything I, I wonder what the end thing of this is like wh what is the true takeaway what what is what our goal yeah we're learning more about the species we're learning about this this intelligent life we're learning about their downfall and what happened to their planet and we're learning about what their vision was because necessarily if i was going into this game fully blind um I wouldn't pull, like, I did everything in this game before I pulled the power switch, which continued the loop. Um, probably should have said spoilers there. But I assume since you guys are watching, you probably already know. Oh, yeah. It's turning daytime. Um, so I, I feel like, in the sense someone going into this probably wouldn't know any of that stuff and they would probably want to figure out what they saw in the eye before they go look at the eye themselves um, I love this song so I guess really the question is 
is it going to tell us? I mean, it kind of told us what happens when you look at the eye, right? Like devastation, but an, a, a renewal. I don't know. Anyway, it, it's something my brain will be at until we finish this game, <laughs> finish this DLC. I, I appreciate you all watching and, uh, uh, thanks. <laughs> See you next time. Hope you're enjoying it like I'm enjoying it. Such a good game. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. Look at that.